Hello and welcome to Neat AI. Okay, so I coded up Flappy Birds and plugged in a standard neural net to get the birds through the pipes. That worked, so I gave it the ability to evolve its own structure and speciate, to see if that made it any better. Turns out it does. So, here's what I did. So I grabbed some images, made the masks, added a background, added some grass, got it all moving, added some pipes, got the pipes moving, Made them look nice. Added a bird. Got the bird moving. Got the bird flapping. Was eventually happy with the bird. That took ages. Told the birds about the pipes. Added some collision detection. Got collision detection to work. Gave it a score and put it all on screen. Good. Next up, coding a standard neural net. First thing needed was a node. It looks like a node. It has inputs, an output, and an activation function. We need to know a few additional things about our nodes, namely the node type, so whether it's an input, hidden or output node, and the node location, so which layer it's in. So if I set up three variables to capture our input nodes, hidden nodes and output nodes, it's a simple matter of populating an array with those nodes and displaying them on screen. Next up are the connections. So here we can see two nodes linked by a connection. It has a weight, minus 5.2. I need some extra information about the connection. So there's an innovation ID, which is a unique number for each connection linkage. The in and out nodes, which show where the connection came from and where it's going. The weight of the connection, whether it's enabled or not, and whether or not it's a recurrent connection. So it's an easy matter of setting up a loop to populate the arrays. And when you plot it on screen, you get a nice fully connected neural net. And that's all this is. There are four input nodes and one bias node, three hidden nodes and one output node. The first two nodes capture the x and y distance to the top pipe, expressed as a fraction of the game width and height. And the third and fourth nodes do the same for the bottom pipe. And the last node is the bias node, which is always set to one. So finally, when all the birds have died, the next generation is created, two parents are chosen at random, and the child bird gets its weights randomly from either parent. These weights are then mutated, and this process repeats. So, thanks for watching. In the next video, I'll get the network to evolve its own shape by adding nodes and connections, and we'll see if that makes a difference. Please subscribe, it really helps. And I'll leave you with a couple of minutes of the birds getting to a score of over 200.